In this video, I'm gonna show you how to easily create captions in Premiere Pro 2021. Stick around. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White, and if you wanna learn how to edit video like a pro, start out by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. Here inside Premiere Pro, I already have my clips down on the timeline, and I'm now ready to create my captions for my project. So in order to do that, I'm gonna go up to Window, go down to Text, and that's gonna open up this box here. I'm then gonna go up to Transcribe Sequence, and this window here is going to pop up and it's gonna where I'm gonna make my transcription settings. So the first thing that I have is to select whether audio clips tagged as dialogue or audio on track. I didn't tag any clips as dialogue, so I'm not gonna select that option. I'm just going to select the audio on track. Then I'm gonna click this little drop down here and this is gonna be where the audio is being pulled from. So it could be a mix from various different audio layers on the timeline or it can be from just audio layer number one. I only have audio on audio layer number one, as you can see down here. So I'm just gonna select audio one. For language, I'm just gonna select whatever language I want my transcription to be. Then I have a couple of boxes down here that I can select if it applies to me. So the first one is transcribe endpoint to outpoint only. So that will transcribe the audio if I had an endpoint and an outpoint down here at the beginning and the end. It would transcribe all the audio within that in and outpoint. And I also have opt in to recognize and when different speakers are talking. So if you have more than one speaker in your project, more than one person talking, you can select this box here and it'll be able to differentiate between yourself and that other speaker. I didn't do anything like that for this video, so I'm not gonna select either one. I'm just gonna click transcribe. This shouldn't take very long, but just make sure that you're connected to the internet because this is all gonna be done in the cloud through Adobe software. So once that's completed, I can go in here and make changes to anything that Adobe may have incorrectly transcribed. But the first thing I'm gonna do is go over here under unknown and click on edit speakers. And I'm just going to change this to my name and then press save. Next thing I'm gonna do is go in here and make specific changes. And notice if I click on a certain word, it's gonna take me to that certain point on the timeline. Once everything's been corrected, I can go up here to this little three dot box and click on export to text file. And what that's gonna do is gonna export this entire transcription so you can use it for your closed captioning on your YouTube videos. Or if you don't wanna do that, you can just click on create captions. And this is where we're gonna start the early stages of our caption customization. So the first thing I'm gonna do is select create from sequence transcript because I'm gonna be creating these captions from the transcription that Adobe just did. If I wanted to, I could click on and create just a blank track, but I've already done the transcription, so I don't wanna do that. For caption preset, I don't have a certain preset that I've created yet, but once you make one, you can select that here. For format, I just wanna select subtitle. Style, I haven't created any yet, so I'm gonna leave that at none. And then for maximum length in characters, I'm gonna leave that at 42. Minimum duration in seconds, I'm gonna leave that at three. And I don't want any gaps in between captions. For lines, I can change that to single or double. I prefer single, but you could also choose double if that's something that you like. And then I'm just going to click create. That should only take a few seconds. And then it's going to create this subtitle layer up here. And this is gonna be where your subtitles fall on the timeline. And what I like to do is kind of scrub through this, listen to the audio to make sure it reflects back correctly. If it doesn't, you can make this shorter, you can make it longer and reposition these layers on the timeline to make sure it lines up correctly with your voice. Once I've done that, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the very first caption. And now I'm going to customize my caption even more. So I'm gonna select that very first caption, then go up here to where it says graphics. And then over here on the right side under essential graphics here, you're gonna see all the different things you can change on that caption. So I'm gonna start off with changing my text to a nice bold font. Go with Gotham. From there I can increase the size of that font if I want. Then I can select what part of the frame I want the captions to be in. I can choose anywhere. I'm just gonna leave it down here at the bottom where you would typically see captions be in a video. For fill, I can change this to whatever color I want. So I can change this to yellow if I want to and press okay. For shadow, I'm just gonna go ahead and uncheck that and then check for a background. I wanna make sure that I have a background selected and I'm gonna change that opacity up to 100%. This is just a personal preference, you don't have to. Then I'm gonna increase the size of that background just a little bit to make sure it fits properly behind my text. And I can round the edges if I want just a little bit. Then I can just select this box here and change my background color. And I think that looks pretty good to me. I can make a bunch of different changes to this caption, but once I'm happy with how it looks, 
I want to apply this to every single one of my other captions. So in order to do that, I'm just going to click this up arrow here. It's going to bring up this box and I'm going to select all captions on track and just press OK. And then once I scrub through this, you can see that it's been applied to every single one of the captions on my timeline. Now, the last thing that I'm going to do to make sure that my captions are burned into the footage, that way they can't be removed on my TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube video, I'm just going to go up here to File, go down to Export Media, and you can select whatever export settings you want, but what I want you to make sure that you do before you click Export, go over to Captions, and under Export Options, make sure that you select Burn Captions into Video, and then click export. And that's going to export your captions with your video. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Let it like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.